Good morning. Welcome to Winnipeg. Now I was just noticing here that our sun has just come up probably about five minutes ago. I haven't seen the walkers yet though. <clears throat> and I forgot to talk about them yesterday so we might have to do, you might call it the double header today. You know, one on top of the other. <laughs> uh, okay, uh, we are going to have a rollback because I did come back to the model table last night. And I did get these uh, splinter tubs on. Uh, they're not gun tubs. <laughs> okay, I got them on. And we are done. We are done. We are going to be able to turn to step 27 today. Uh, yeah, uh, that is, by done, I mean, well, we're done with 26. We've got a long ways to go. I think there's, what is there, 70 steps in this or something? I can't remember anymore. Not as bad as the Yamato, though. I was looking, I was perusing through the Yamato manual online uh, last night. Wow. <laughs> that will probably be, if I get it, it'll probably be my last one. It'll keep me going for a long time. If I want to do it right, that is. Or let's put it this way. If I, if I want to do it the best I can, it may not be right. <laughs> Okay, let's try not to be talking about the Yamato today anymore. Uh, let's let's just sort of roll back and see how it is we got to where we are. And uh, then we'll uh, turn the page. Okay, at the moment we do have the macro lens on, although I'm pulled back probably about, oh, I'm guessing uh, 45, 50 centimeters from right here. And uh, we will move in a little closer, but I was thinking that if I uh, can work at it at the angle I got it right now, it's probably going to work out for both of us. So uh, just let me uh, put my other eyes on here and uh, my thinking is that if I saturate the bottom of this thing really good let's just see you know it sits on there pretty good like that it's not a hundred percent straight but uh, I think that if it was uh, you know if it was all sticky on the bottom and if I could manage to not be dropping it uh, th this might actually work out okay I'm going to uh, reposition the camera here and move you in just a little bit and that way when I drop it you can see it a whole lot better. Okay first let's uh, moisten the tops of these things. I don't think that these center ones are going to actually touch anything. I think it's going to be the the, uh, the ones I'm touching now and the main ones in the back. Okay Now, I know it's going to be pretty hard for you to see anything. It's going to be a little bit out of focus. So I'm going to basically take this off of cam off camera here. Okay, now I don't know exactly where these uh, supports are going to actually touch on the bottom. So what I did was I just saturated the entire bottom. I just want to try and get the, the two main ones in the back to to grab on and they're not in the right place if I could just no that's slumping over I don't have all day here because the glue is going to start to to dry out on me uh, no, that's not back far enough. Yeah, maybe if I could just... Oh, I see what's wrong. This this tub, this one tub is in the road. Well, to get it to fit properly, I'm going to have to have it... Actually, that might be a blessing in disguise. Maybe I could glue these two tubs, the corners together. 
Now I know I know that the supports are in the wrong place. I know that, but it it is actually quite strong like that. Uh, yeah, even even uh, looking looking at it in from from this side like this, uh, it looks pretty good under there to me. So uh, I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay, I'm going to do the other one the same way. Okay, I've hit record again here. You can you can see where I've put a little bit of glue on the corners there. I'm hoping that's going to sort of meld together. And um, what I'll do then afterwards is just touch it up with the 19. And that'll completely cover that. We'll call it a weld. Now somebody was commenting that he thought that one of the tubs was a little bit crooked and I can't really see which one except possibly the one that's coming around right now, the one that will be closest to us on the right hand side. It could be maybe slumping a little bit this way, but you know I don't want to be breaking them loose and re-gluing them. It's going to just have to do. I, I don't think it's too bad. Okay now, several hours has passed. And these uh, welds are about as dry as they're going to get. So I'm hoping that this flat 19 that we're putting on here to sort of cover them up is going to sort of blend in with the rest of it after it dries. Right now it looks quite a bit lighter. I want to be careful that I don't accidentally touch the uh, optical units which have the, uh, you know, they're painted in the 66. I think that when this dries, it's going to blend in. We're not going to see it. Okay. Um, I think that's pretty about it. Unless maybe we try to get underneath here a little bit with the... Well, mind you, we can't see underneath there anyway. Okay, we're back. And uh, I'm very pleased with the way this has turned out. The uh, The paint has, has dried now. And uh, where the brush painting and the airbrush painting overlapped, you might say, it, it blended in... You, to my perspective perfectly I can't see any difference at all uh, yeah so anyway a couple of days ago when I was thinking about these and uh, trying to figure out how to get those little braces underneath and so on uh, I thought I'm probably not going to be able to do this and I was wondering you know what am I going to do here so I'm very pleased that it did turn out uh, you know you, you just keep poking away at something like this and and uh, uh, you know, eventually you can get it. I mean, it sort of uh, uh, gives me sort of hope for when I get to uh, what I said I wasn't going to talk about anymore today. Uh, but it starts with why. Anyway, uh, yeah, that, that, that possibly I'll be able to do most of it. Anyway, uh, let's turn the page here. We are done. Uh, and once again, uh, thanks to, to the viewer who... Uh, who uh, I think it was more than one viewer, but anyway, thanks to the viewer that uh, uh, put me onto this, that, that these were wrong, because it probably would have really thrown me. I don't think I would have picked up on that. So let's turn the page here and see what we've got in step 27. Okay, 27, it looks like we leave our are part in the same orientation, so that's good. I'm used to looking at it that way. Um, okay, we have to assemble some stuff, which involves photo etch. Uh, didn't didn't we make those already? I thought we made a whole bunch of those already. Uh, well, it would, would be nice if we did. Or, or is that... Uh, I thought that maybe it was those uh, flotation baskets, but maybe it's not. Um, okay, let's uh, 
let's let's start to this is actually 27 here and this is 28 so I will, I, I'm not going to say we can finish 27 today but uh, at least we can get started on it I, th I think this part right here I'm pretty sure we've already got that but we don't have the this part glued on to it uh, let, let's, let's just start here at the beginning of 27 okay I have come across another funny situation and again it's not funny ha ha it's funny strange and that is I've got I'm presuming this is J41 and J34 and I, they were in my little box of parts when I was looking for this um, which we already got that's the G24 and um, but you know what I can't find where do they go on I thought I must I must have missed them so I, I'm looking all over the place where these could have gone and and then I went forwards and backwards in the manual I cannot find these unless these are possibly for the Missouri model uh, and uh, I, I'm pretty sure that uh, the Missouri and the Iowa share some sprues so it's quite possible that you know these are uh, uh, well anyway does anybody know anybody that's completed this ship uh, do we actually need these or are these extras uh, <laughs> okay well now I'm laughing now when I was looking for the R7 here I noticed that I have badly bent both of the R4s at first I thought oh maybe this one is supposed to be like that but then I realized that these are both number four and this one is not bent as badly so I guess I must have accidentally caught it on something when I was removing this this uh, sprue from the bag uh, because we have needed our pieces in the in the past already anyway let's let's get our R7 here okay we got that now and uh, I, I'm just wondering if the, the best time to try and repair this this uh, joint before I break it right off uh, is right now while it's still while it's still connected to the sprue because I'm thinking that later on when I need it uh, I'm probably going to end up breaking it so I think if I was to hit it the joint right there with the extra thin you know wait wait a little bit uh, and then and then slowly straighten it out uh, I think maybe I'm going to just try and do that right now because I, I know eventually we're, we're probably going to be needing these number fours unless we're lucky and it'll be like those gun tubs that uh, I can't find where they go and we don't need them. But you know what, I think I've, I've just missed those gun tubs and I, I can't figure it out. Okay, let's hope this does not turn out to be a disaster. Now I'm going to use the uh, holder downer from the Bismarck here. Sort of, you know, notice it's sort of a bit of a hook on it. I can and it's pretty stiff. Wonder if maybe I should have uh, put on more extra thin I wonder I wonder is it possible that this one is supposed to look like that one and this one is not bent it's supposed to be like this you know I should really maybe if I'm smart not go any further than I pretty much got them to match here now Both of them have this little thing on the end here. I don't know if that's supposed to be like that or not. Uh, maybe I should find the uh, the drawings. They show the sprues at the beginning of the manual. And I should check and see, is the number four at an angle already? And it could be that this one is correct. And now this one is, is almost correct. 
So let's let's just leave it before we make things worse here. Okay, if we uh, check the drawing here in the manual, you can clearly see that the number fours are straight. So I'm just going to continue on and uh, straighten them out. If I break them off, I'll show it to you. If I don't, well, uh, let's hope for the best here. Okay, I still had the macro lens on, so I thought I may as well show it. This one could maybe come up just a little bit more, but I, I think we'll just leave it. It looks pretty good. And, and this glue is almost, is almost dry now. Okay, as long as we have the R sprue out, we need the number five. K1. And K43 and 44. Okay, we need J26, and I'm sure there are people wondering why is it that quite often the numbers are upside down when I'm nipping these off. And the reason for that is because the uh, that's the most convenient way for me to get the, the little part un underneath the macro lens. And it uh, looks like we got ourselves another little flag locker going on here. Okay, that is it for plastic parts for step 27. Now the photo etch. Our sunrise did happen this morning. And our walkers, well, they happened as well. Now I'm noticing that yesterday's sunrise was almost identical to today's. Now I was remembering it as being cloudy yesterday morning, but I guess I was wrong. Well, I am going to do something that I don't think I have ever done before at the model table. And that is, I am going to add coffee to the coffee cup. I think this is the first time that I've drank the whole cup, especially this early in the morning. Must have been thirsty or something. Okay, for the photo etch, we need G18 and G6. Let's not make a big production out of this. Okay, where is it here? Okay, here's our, here's our 18 and here's our 6. Let's just quickly do this. Alrighty. that one. I'll turn it around here. I know this isn't as much fun as when I put the macro lens on, but I'm pretty sure you can still see it here. Okay, now the six is right here.
Okay, I'm just going to quickly get the other pieces we need here and get this over with. Okay, we now have all the pieces we need for step 27. But they need to be, uh, get the flashing off them and get them bent into shape, you might say. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look at the time. Well, I know what time it is. good reason why I'm doing this because this little piece we are going to save that for the next pizza day and uh, I will explain the next pizza day why we are doing that let's put this back in the freezer I think it's gonna keep I don't think there's anything wrong with refreezing that yeah but that's gonna be for the next pizza day. This one goes in the microwave. Okay, here's what's happened. Well, I was standing beside the microwave trying to decide, you know, should I take this out an hour later? And uh, my phone rings. And uh, it turns out at two, at two o'clock this afternoon, I'm gonna be getting a copy visitor. And uh, that means I gotta do the final edit and everything and, and uh, just a little over an hour and in other words thanks for watching everybody and all being well we're gonna see you tomorrow mm.